have a Gundo home training video, Tiger Black Belt Academy, to you. Uh, so you can use any of your swords that you guys have at home, or if you don't have your sword at home, or you don't have space to use your sword, uh, just use your hand position just like this. We're gonna go through a number of drills, mainly centered around conditioning, just to get the exercise, but you should pair this video with the curriculum videos that are currently on the website. Are you guys ready to get started? Yeah. Uh, let's try to go right to a kneeling position. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pile to the swords and set position, and we're gonna start with 90 degree cuts. So back and forth, as fast as you can. Try to picture a tree in front of you, and try to make some cut sound. Let's see if you can follow that. Ready? Three, two, one. Shiga, go. So as they're going back and forth, they're also trying to keep the sword nice and straight uh, because it's all about blade control. Blade control. Also remember, this is a push pull style technique that you're not just swinging both hands the same direction, that you still have to snap the hands together this direction. All right, let's go 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Next one, you can stay kneeling or you can stand up in a dado say. So we're gonna do all your baggies. So comb it upwards, up the center on both directions. When I say change, you're gonna switch your feet unless of course you're still on the ground due to space. Ready, three, two, one, and she's up. All your baggies. So the whole goal is to cut as straight as possible. You don't wanna cut at this 45 degree angle. It should come directly up your head, of course, without hitting your legs. Remember when I say change to switch the feet. Ready, yeah. and change. Good, 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 good. All right, we're gonna do another change too, just to keep you guys alive over there. Ready and change. Good. Change. Good. Change. Good. Change. Good. Keep it going. Nice, good speed. Uh, you'll start to feel a little bit of your shoulders and your body, but remember, uh, it's all about range of motion. Stay in motion, not emotion. If you're getting tired, just keep moving. That's the whole idea. Ten more seconds as fast as you can. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. Five, four, three, two, one, time. All right, let's go to Kimanse. Kimanse, of yeah. course, is our gumdo horse stance. Uh, you're gonna go in a set position. What we're gonna do in this horse stance, every time I count, I just want you to complete one overhead cut. This one is for power, not speed. And you can let out some sound, a nice loud aya. Ready, and ta-da! Aya! Ta-da! Aya! Aya! Continuous motion. When I say change, you'll switch to the other side. Let's see. Continue cuts. Left 45. Three, two, one. Shot. This one had a little bit of speed too. You can still make some sound. All right, but you still want to focus on good cut sound. Remember, the cut angle hits the 45, but a rounded angle is going to come in a circular style pattern, just like that. That's the action right there. Five, four, three, two, one. Change. Now cut from right shoulder and go around the left shoulder on the chamber. Non-stop that action. Go, 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 go. slow one time, but then you're gonna go for speed, non-stop. So follow together. You're gonna start overhead cut. Ready? Uh, uh, left 15. Ready? Uh, uh, right 15. Set. Uh, then you're gonna come all the way around for a two-hand 90 degree cut. Next. Uh, then continue up. Right 45. That's it. Uh, uh, Good. Then left 45. Yes, sir. Uh, then you're gonna go to a set position. All right, you're gonna do this non-stop till I say time. Go at your own speed. Remember, overhead 15, 15, 90 degrees, and then 45, 45. Let's see what you got. Three, Set. two, one, shot. Every cut, try to make that sound. Every gun no cut sound, your sword should be making a high pitch. You're listening for your sword and make a high pitch sound, not a whooshing sound. Good, 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 good
So any cut you can think of doing, make it happen. Have some speed, have some power. Again, mind your space. I don't want you to break anything in your house. If you need to put the sword down for this one, do the hand motion, do that. It's still gonna help you out. But this one, you're gonna go all out. Let's see what we got. Ready, three, two, one, go. Try, 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 try. So you see one hand cuts, two hand cuts, Oreo baggies, 45, even thrust, even blocks. High blocks, middle block, low block, reverse clip, finger rolls, whatever you think you can handle right now, you can do that. This is customizing your workout. All right, and I always say try, don't think too hard. If you're thinking too hard, you're gonna be moving slow. Let it flow naturally. Let's see if you go, oh, a little sword toss and catch over there too. Here we go, 10 seconds, 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, Try and safe position. This next one is gonna be uh, one of your harder drills because we're gonna focus on your lower body a lot. We're gonna do our soto sink. So you're gonna be doing a chamber from the back and you're gonna cut straight down. Remember when you do your soto sink that you actually wanna have your front foot flat and then your knee is in line with that front toe. Every time I count through one, we're gonna do 10 on each leg. Have that good gear. Ready, and. Ready, set, right here. Ready, two. That's it, good. Ready, and set. We have the other leg as well. So everybody switch your feet. Same thing, left leg in front, keep that front foot flat. Here we go, ready, and yeah. Yeah. Good action, ready, two. Non-stop paldos and chakams. Of course, basic paldo, you just draw it out. Basic chakam, you're gonna put it to the side and then you can just put the sword away. If you can add any rolls, finger rolls, or you wanna do overhead paldos, that's on you. So I'm gonna let them choose what they wanna do. If you're doing the basic, that's fine. Do this non-stop until I say time, but try to go for speed and fluidity as well. All right, let's try. Ready, three, two, one, go. Set. Excellent, so they just draw and return. Pile them for, pile them for draw and chuck them for returning the sword. Good, excellent, try again. Pile them and chuck them. Pile them and chuck them. Excellent, good. Every single time, try to do better. And uh, definitely, you should be wearing a belt for this. Uh, so if you're using the scabbard, you wanna make sure you're always putting it away directly in the scabbard, if you're using the belt, it goes in the belt. If you don't have that, it's okay, you can use your hand, but it will limit a little bit of the uh, training to get. All right, 10 more seconds. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time. Good. All right, so our last drill, we're going to be focused on speed cuts. It's going to be a good quick burn to finish it off. All you're going to do is you're going to chamber the sword to your back, cut forward, and then hop backwards. Cut forward, hop backwards. You do this as fast as you can. When I say change, we're gonna switch legs. If you're a more advanced ranking, it's okay to switch uh, to side to side or the front back, side back as well. That's up to you as well. But this is gonna be your last one, so go all out and make sure you get that burn. Here we go, ready? In position, three, two, one, she's up. Cutting forward, hopping back, cutting forward, hopping back. Oh, so you can see we got Caleb doing the forward and back, but now he's going front back, side back, look at that. He's an orange belt that. That's usually a red belt technique, but he's uh, trying to flex on you guys here. <laughs> good, 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 good. 100% of your action. The sword goes all the way to your back, and you're cutting all the way to the ankle. We got 10 more seconds on this leg. 10, five, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and change. Left leg in front, and she's up. All the leg now, all the leg. Good, 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 good. good. Keep cutting, keep cutting, keep that coordination. If you fall out of the coordination, just jump right back in. That's the whole idea. And you'll get better the more you do this video, of course. All right, make it happen. Everything you got left in the tank, because after this, you are done. So I want to see how you guys can push yourself. Let's get it. Ready? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, time. And tuck up.
excellent training on your gumbo class today. Uh, try to do this video as often as you can during the break. And again, don't forget to check out uh, the curriculum videos on the website, but also the flexibility, strength, and cardio training videos can help you in gumdo as well, because just being in better condition will translate you to you being better at any activity that you decide to do. Uh, but again, thanks for tuning in. Bam.